Hi everybody. I don't know if any of you saw my recent video. Um, and you, if you did, you would have seen, if you'd watched the end part, that you would have seen me using this. This is absolutely fantastic. Okay. Um, I couldn't believe how much easier it was to actually do my dotting. So I thought I'd share with you how I came about this. So, let's move that one out of the way. Um, that's dot painting video number 51, by the way. Um, right, so yes, yeah, so I went into pound stretchers and I saw that they had in their bathroom section this wonderful uh, three function shower head. Um, it comes with um, standard connections, chrome bar, flexible hose, soap dish and fixings. But what I saw I saw this <laughs> um, when it actually came out of the packet as you can see you've got like all the deliveries that go with putting a shower together <laughs> um, it actually had this on it and uh, I can honestly say I saw it had a screw in there <laughs> and I tried with all my might to try and take that screw off but um, it wouldn't work and in my frustration I thought I wonder if the ends come off and actually the end comes off really easy so I took that off, hung that back on and hey presto you end up with an absolutely brilliant rest for your arm while you're painting um, here's a canvas I prepared earlier, <laughs> as you do. This is 16 by 20 inches and uh, as you can see, this fits lovely. Look at that. So where normally, when you're going to start dotting and you've got to do that one in the middle or perhaps you've gone out and then you go back into the middle, you're holding your hand like this for ages, trying to do your dots, and you're holding your hand like as steady as you can, trying to do all these tiny little dots. So if I show you, um, I don't know if anyone cares, this is um, Artiste Tea Pink, which is absolutely beautiful colour, and I'm going to use a six, whoops, six millimetre acrylic rod. So what you do is, <laughs> at least this is what I do, you'll see me put my bit of paper down and I rest over. But my hand is actually resting on the board. Um, and then my hand is still on the board as I'm doing this. Um, Now, when you use, after a while, for example, if I wanted to do the next row, or I need to come back into this one, you've got to be so careful that your hand doesn't touch any of the wet paint. And I'm sure you've all been there. Now, the great thing is, you put this over the top, okay, and look at this. You can rest your arm on there. So you've got to be careful with your paper still. <laughs> it's up to you how you hold it. But I, actually, as you've got ridges underneath here, actually helps you to balance that on there. Um, look at this, I can just move it along. Oh, look, I can stay posed over that hole, um, a point where I want to do the dot for ages if I wanted to. And it's not making my arm ache at all. 
which means that you've actually got more control because you can plan your dot a little bit better. I'm sure I'm not the only one who um, at some point has actually felt like um, this is a bit hit and miss. <laughs> Put the dot down as quickly as possible. Um, and the problem with that is that sometimes when when you're lifting your tool back up again, you might not lift it up straight and it might go at a slight angle and then that ruins your, ruins your perfect circle. As you can see here, I'm leaning on the table here. Um, but that's absolutely fine. But this is so comfortable. It's brilliant. I thought this would be cold and I might have to put a bit of material or sponge on it or something. But actually, because it's just grown, um, it, it's not cold at all and it's, it's not uncomfortable either. But obviously everyone's different as to what they what they want. Um, now, I'm, I'm using an acrylic board at the moment, which obviously is very flat. <laughs> um... But I was using a canvas, as I say, last night, and fits underneath perfectly. Um, I actually think, whilst I was using this rest for my hand, for my arm, I actually think that some of them are the best dots I've ever done. When you're going back over dots, and you're putting a second dot in, it can be a bit scary because you're not sure if you're going to... Uh, get it centered properly or not and it can cause a lot of you can completely change your painting if you get your dot really out of the wrong place um, not, not nice when that happens <laughs> so um, this is absolutely brilliant because it gives you that chance that rest look I can just rest my hand there for ages and I'm not feeling any discomfort Sometimes my arm can really, really ache where I'm going like this so much. And um, can really, because uh, I'm quite obsessive and I'll sit here for hours and hours and hours until I finish the painting. Um, but even holding up now, I can feel it all starting to pull in my arm. But when it's on there, you don't get that. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, this cost me nine pounds 99 i'm sure that um you might be able to get it cheaper somewhere else the only downside is is say you know it wobbles a bit but um i'm hoping a, a bit might put something in there to try and help keep that in place obviously i always work on a cutting board um so my surface is protected if you've got a nice glossy table, <laughs> you might want to put something under here to protect your tabletop. But, um, absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I'm so pleased with this, it is unbelievable. Um, and I really hope that... Um, terrible, anyway, you start dotting, you can't stop. Sometimes my centre dots can be that little bit off. See, look how I, I've been able to spend a bit of time planning that. I'm going to carry on with this painting now and see where it goes. <laughs> it's quite strange working on pink. Um, and I'm hoping that you'll like it afterwards if you get to see it. So... Uh, down to your local <laughs> cheap shop and uh, get yourself one of these because these are brilliant absolutely brilliant I'm so pleased with that let me just show you again um, move this one out of the way for a moment there is plenty of room for a proper canvas to go underneath I would so I'm going to measure that for you actually um, So that is just uh, just under two inches, just under two inches that gap, and my canvas is about three quarters of an inch. 
so that's a lot of space in between but obviously you get the big box ones I don't know if that would fit under there I don't actually have any here I don't work on them um, don't know why just haven't got around to it but definitely for the smaller canvases and for canvas boards absolutely brilliant I think it'd be really really good as well for if you're working with soft pastels or charcoal because oh the amount of work that I have ruined by my hand touching the charcoal or touching the soft pastel and you've got an armrest you've got somewhere to rest your arm and you know that your work is safe you just got to worry about your elbow <laughs> well I thought I'd share it with you so uh, let me know if uh, if you give it a go and um, I'd be very shocked if you wasn't if, if you wasn't pleased like I am so thanks thanks for listening if you like this video or any of my videos please do click the like button and subscribe to my channel um, I have over 210 videos there at the moment and it's growing all the time but loads of ideas for different um, videos for the future that are absolutely bursting inside my head at the moment so um, I, I've got about 50 I think planned <laughs> so thanks for watching bye